Hello again, YouTubers. I know it's it sounds and it seems rather awkward to make a, another video um, on the same day or at the same night, um, but I just you know happened to have um, recall remember a uh, you know a few sort of key 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 points I, I would like to mention about um how i've been coping with my situation slash my shit situation you know characterized by severe depression and intrusive thoughts um and prolonged grief over the deaths of my old man and then sub subsequently my grandma you know and you know i suppose you know myself's half death probably as much as you can tell you know well in case you have in case you you have watched you know my earlier videos you know which I filmed um, during my state of homelessness slash um, exile back in year 2000 and you know back in late 2019 and um, um, all, all the way to <clears throat> mid year 2000 year 2020. You know, that was such a period of major tribulation and affliction, as well as turmoil and revelation uh, about the nature of life that I've had. Well, on, on, on top of whatever shite I'm currently experiencing and suffering from. So yeah, back to the main topics of this video, you know. So I've been, you know, re, re reflecting uh, upon, you know, um, one of my previous videos. You know, I managed to <laughs> survive, you know, under two two Australian dollars, a a a a a a less than about you know a, a thousand you know, local currency slash IMB per month, yeah. So, you know, of course, you know, the, the major cost, you know, I have, you know, I, I have to pay for is the, you know, is food. So I pretty much, you know, nowadays pretty much, you know, eat um, breakfast and dinner rather intermittently that that says you know i only consume them you know whenever i feel needy and that can include you know two basically speaking two circumstances say um circumstance number one you know is that you know when i you know um when i get extremely hungry you know, nearly starving, then, you know, I have no, I'll have no choice but to get, get, get the food, buy, buy food, mo mo mostly, yes, from, you know, from, <clears throat> via, um, from local, local food courts or, or um, restaurants or small food courts, um, via the, um, the Chinese e um, equivalent of, Uber Eats or um, or um, delivery app called May um, May Chuan. Yeah, and that's you know that certainly counts as one you know the you know the major cost of of living here at my grandma's flat. Um, though I though I need not pay pay rent. Yeah, I still have some utility bills to pay, you know, though currently, you know, I have some, some money, you know, some, some red, some red pack, some red 
packs donated by, by my grandpa, which, you know, I just, you know, you know, to, to whom, unfortunately, I kind of had, have to cancel a visit for the Chinese New Year, you know, um, festivities, you know, a as I mentioned in my previous video, you know, due to my current shitty mental state and status, you know, I, I, you know, I just fear that I might act out of my, I might act upon my intrusive thoughts to use the kitchen knife to, to, to chop him, to chop him to his death and, you know, and some other reasons such as laziness. And, you know, on top of that, I'll have to kind of buy some souvenirs, you know, some local gifts, some, you know, in, 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 in Japanese, it's called Omiyage. I'll have to spend some money out of my own pocket to buy, to buy him some gifts, kind of in exchange for some red packs or red packets, you know. So I kind of have to cancel that. <laughs> and yeah, um, um, that's, that was the, you know, that's pretty much circumstance number one in which I have to kind of skip meals, you know, most typically speaking, breakfasts and dinners, sometimes lunch, and that mostly occur, you know, due to me um, oversleeping, you know, <laughs> on some occasions, but most recently, you know, I try not, not to do so, though yesterday, you know, I, I unfortunately, you know, I, I let my depression and laziness get the best of me again, and I kind of overslept, but I didn't, I didn't actually skip lunch, though I kind of, you know, I, yes, I ordered some, some burgers and, and chips rather late at around, yes, two, n nearly 3 p.m. at l l local time, and that's, that was all already 6 p.m. Sydney time, so to speak, and yeah, um, so yeah, but you know, sometimes, you know, I should say more or, 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 or often than not, we ourselves, particularly our body and minds keep lying to, to, to us. You know, they, you know, s s more often than not, you know, we tend to eat more, maybe sometimes a lot more than we actually need to eat. Yeah. And, um, uh, Back to the topic of, you know, how I've been co coping with my severe depression and anxiety, you know. Basically, you know, I, I, you know, thanks to, you know, thanks to, you know, a channel named Far From, Far From Weak, you know, I managed to take a bit of leap, leap, leap of faith, you know, and then, you know, gather, gathered up some mojo and motivation and courage to, to get, you know, to apply for my replacement passport and succeeded. Thank mostly myself. Thank Far From Weak. Thank, yeah, thank God. Thank Far From Weak and thank myself and thank my adopted mom slash one of my aunts you know, to make that happen. So yeah, basically, you know, whenever I feel, say, m you know, mildly to moderately depressed and d d discouraged, I then, you know, find some videos, you know, from far, far from week to watch on YouTube. You know, so sometimes, yes, I listen to them, you know, in, in the background, you know, while I, while I do some work, say, some artwork, you know, some you know, some, some browsing and some, 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 you know, some web of browsing and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And on, on the other hand, you know, I learned that, you know, in order to overcome the, the, the depression, at least not to get 
overwhelmed by severe depression and anxiety and all other sorts of problems and hardships that often we oftentimes run in, in, into during our, our, our lives you know we need to get, get stronger we not just need to stay strong but get stronger try to overpower them instead of getting overpowered or overwhelmed by our problems and hardships so that can involve you know two major or main tasks one is to train up our physique you know by you know by going to the gym but unfortunately i can't you know i do not have and i do not have access to uh to a and to a uh, to a uh, to a uh, to an adequate um much less a decent gym or training physical training or physical education for um facility nearby near you know in proximity <clears throat> in close proximity to my lo current location so i kind of so i have to just you know do do the training in um in indoors yeah that, that's why you know i've you know i i've been saying you know i plan to get a punching bag you know sooner or later you know yeah but you know during the chinese new year and festivities you know all the um you know the mail service pretty much all the mail services and the, you know the um local um couriers and de delivery services pretty much um will you know will re remain closed you know until say maybe seven to ten days from t from today i if my if my memory still serves but yeah you know i will at least have to wait for like you know a a, a week or two b before i can get you know before i can receive the goods i i purchase from taobao and whatnot apps here in china you know so yeah that's you know a planned uh, one of the plans to train up my my um my um my physique to stay far from weak physically speaking um yeah so i you know about you know how to stay um mentally strong how to stay mentally far far from weak you know of course you know um i suppose you know not viewing nasty contents online kind of kind of does play a you know a vital role you know in you know in strengthening your mental resolve and and uh, you know strongholds you know since though, though i'm not saying though i'm i am not necessarily you know i'm telling you a strictly no no to to porno um and <clears throat> nevertheless you know you know my current you know policy real you know p p pertaining to as to whether um to and and when to watch pro prono and fab is to you know so long as my sexual urges does not d disturb me then i will just you know not d d disturb it you know it's pretty much you know a how should i put it you know a some sort of you know um some sort of um policy that i maintain um you know in regards to such act you know <laughs> um you know but you know i you know getting too much you know d d diving into too much details um into such uh, you know about such 
topic will greatly, you know, lengthen, you know, the duration of this video. So I, sh I'll try, to, you know, I will try to make a video, you know, specifically, um, specifically, um, about such topic and the relevant points of discussion in the future if god willing you know if i also if i do have the time and the spare sp the spare um energy you know in the in the future and yeah so yeah you know i still have a lot to to worry and cope with you know particularly you know the future and possibility of this flat that I am currently re residing in, getting d d demolished, and then I myself get evicted, <laughs> you know, sooner or later, you know. Though I asked, you know, my adopted mom, um, how long she Im imagined this building will 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 remain standing, <laughs> you know. She said, you know, the answer she gave, she gave me was at least three years. So long as the, you know, the military, um, airport, you know, the military um, facility near, near here, um, doesn't relocate, you know, then, yeah, then, you know, this, residential this residential sub sub d district will not um come into inclusion of the this you know grand uh, urban planning scheme and therefore not get d d demolished <laughs> so we will see but you know that says you know you know, as soon as, you know, my, my old man kicked his bucket in year 2000, in mid year 2019, the, the, you know, the countdown of me ha having to stay a, a, adrift, having to, to live in a state of exile slash homelessness already has had begun unfortunately i don't know about you guys you know um particularly you know in your um re respective countries or regions or or you know or a areas of ha habitations or whatnot but sadly here in china forced e e evictions are a uh, are a uh, prevalent and notorious you know major major issue and commonplace you know unfortunately so yeah I, I, as i've been saying you know hope for the best in the meantime prepare for the worst or if say you know a um a, um, a meteorite all of a sudden hits planet earth um you know say um um um, um a meteorite that r roughly shares the size and weight or mass of the of the um of the meteorite that um supposedly you know <laughs> extinguished the whole pretty much the whole dinosaur species then probably we will all get to you know see the end of this this clown shit clown with show or clown world shit show and horror story horror terror story we call life on planet earth <laughs> so yeah um thank you very much uh, again for your likes and subscriptions and heartwarming comments yeah if god's still willing hope to see you guys again on youtube on bit shoot whatever platform
yeah so take care and stay safe until next time if god's still willing au revoir bye cheers